All right, so the business impact analysis, that revolves around understanding the impact, hence the name, of a disaster on each area of the business. And we really need to take into account every area of our business. We have to do a full assessment from top to bottom. All right, so we, we need to assume that each area is necessary, right? But some areas are more critical than others. And you take things into account like facilities, people, your, your personnel, communication, which is basically IT, supply chain, how do you get new equipment in place, equipment itself, any vital records or documentation, all of your policies, basically, right? So your intellectual property, things that, that you may not be able to get back uh, quickly if you don't have them protected properly. And if you're not protecting them equally, then you need to rank, okay, what's most important, what's least important? And then, of course, you'll focus time, resources, and energy to make sure that your most critical things are protected first. All right, so again, it's kind of a multi-tiered approach. It starts off with a business impact analysis. Then you would do a risk assessment and really identify, okay, what actual impact if these different areas go down what's the actual impact to my business and then you have to def define a plan on okay how do i manage that risk right some things i may uh, choose to just ignore or it's, it's too costly and if i lose it it's not as not as costly as it would actually be to implement some type of system to protect it or we might say i absolutely have to have this and you're going to spend a lot of money because even if you're down for minutes it could cost you know tens of thousands or millions of dollars depending on what it is then you want to start talking about risk monitoring and what systems do you have in place to make sure that you're actively monitoring and you can be proactive in mitigating those risks as they come. And as I mentioned with the BIA or the business impact analysis, what it's going to do, it associates cost to the business. All right, so each area of IT, each area of the business, each area of, of like I said, your entire entity from top to bottom, what are the costs to the business for each of these areas if they were to go away? All right, and then you rank those in order, and you're going to assign dollar amounts required to get that specific area back online. So obviously, as you can imagine, you're going to associate more funds, and you're going to allocate more resources to the more critical areas. You're going to restore customer confidence, address legal or regulatory issues. You have to take into account the man hours needed to bring services back online, the cost of equipment replacement, not just the physical cost, but maybe shipping, expedited costs, things along these lines. And then the, the amount of time and effort required to recover data, or do you replace and recreate? Perhaps it's too costly to protect the data. It actually would be easier or quicker to just recreate it. Maybe it's a maybe you're pulling something from a from a another system and you're recreating uh, that data kind of in place. So it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, backed up all the time. It can just be you know easily uh, brought back online just by recreating or, or rerunning reports and so forth. All right. So all of these things will come into our business impact analysis, and we would identify and associate resources, funds, time, energy, etc., to make sure that these specific things are addressed first. But we want to make sure that we basically account for everything within our business because they're all interrelated, okay, as we'll find as we go through this. Everything kind of relies on IT. It's kind of the linchpin with everything, but every area is important.